Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about what is DAX in Power BI and what are the benefits of DAX functions in Power BI report or dashboard. If you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of Power BI from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real time project explanation with scenario based monthly updates, much more updated in this channel. If you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easy to survive in real time environment. So in this video, we will deep dive about what is DAX in Power BI and what are the benefits of DAX functions in Power BI report or dashboard. So in real time environment, there is no report without DAX functions. By using DAX functions, we can calculate complex things. That is the main advantage of Power BI DAX. This is very very important question. Please don't you can write the in your notebook or something don't skip my video i will explain very well go to my browser uh, let me write what is uh, dax in power bi let me open official page of power bi dax dax stands for data analysis expression okay Data analysis expression is a library of functions and operators that can be combined to build formulas and expressions in Power BI, analysis services, and Power Pivot in Excel data models. First of all, let me explain what is data analysis. You have some data. For example, let me take some, you have some sales uh, table. So you want to analyze only last six months total sales for total sales so so you want six months sales right so that is nothing but data analysis you want total right so total for achieving total we'll write the sum function sum of total sales okay table name table of column name okay like that we'll give in dax don't worry i will explain very well in the coming sessions that is nothing but expression for example if you want average of last six months then we'll write the average function average of total sales if you want minimum we'll write the minimum of sales if you want to analyze last six months maximum sales then we'll write max of total sales so in this way we can analyze uh, data by using expression so for each scenario there are different different uh, dax functions are available don't worry, I will explain very well in coming uh, sessions. Now, to explain this scenario, let me go to uh, my Power BI desktop. Let me load some data into the Power BI desktop. First of all, let me connect to my SQL server. If anybody watching first time my video, please check class number 3 and 4. Why? Because in class number 3 and 4, I clearly explain how to download and install AdventureWorks GW2017 and northwind databases if you practice these two databases you will get familiar with the real world data that's the reason why i'm telling so now let me take some data dim date and uh, dim geography and uh, fact internet sales let me click on load if you are using import method so all tables will be loaded into the power bi desktop in memory okay while loading tables automatically it will detect the relationship and it will filter the data don't worry it won't take much time to load okay my tables are loaded into the power bi desktop now i will take calendar year from the dim date so i'm taking one column here and i'm taking sales amount from the fact internet sales now convert to table visual right click on summarize now you can able to see year wise sales here but 
by using DAX functions if you want you can I can uh, analyze the data in between dates so for example I don't want uh, 2011 total year sales I want only uh, from uh, June to June 2011 to November 2011 okay so I want in specific period so for that also we'll use some um, date between our uh, dates uh, dates in period there are lot of uh, functions are available so that kind of scenarios everything we can uh, use by using DAX we can calculate so mainly benefit is we can calculate and we can filter the data by using DAX functions we can do complex things also do it in very simple way that is the main advantage of uh, power bi dax so thank you for watching my video if anybody wants special training please contact to this email id or you can directly call to this mobile number my whatsapp number also same number thank you for watching my video once again